Hello again. <coughs> there you go. All the wilds have been grinded flat. Look at that. Flat using a, a proper uh, grinding stone. Which I had to moot around my shed for. Proper one. Made my life easier. Maybe look at that now. Look how smooth that is. It's all level with the metal. That's much better. Not even sticking up one bit. Couple of little low spots here. I ain't gonna worry about that. But yeah, I'm glad I'm working on it properly. Bit more motivation and a proper tool, and you get the job done. But look, smooth, smooth. I'm just gonna work in here a bit now, and I'll get back to you. I've grinded this down a bit more. I've still got to put a couple of wilds in here. But I'm going all over this again. I'll try not to bore you with it too much because you've already seen all of this. Back soon. Has anyone got the inner of the A post? The bit that runs round here and up here, this. Because mine are really far gone. I mean, I could try making some, but if anyone's got some cheap, let me know in the comments. I'll definitely have them off, yeah. Because it saved me a lot of work. So, yeah. Still working on this. All that is ready to be a... Uh, it's all flat, look. All good. All down there has been welded again. Properly with seam weld all the way across. Now I'm just working on the inside. I can't find my little piece that goes in here. I'll keep looking for it. <clears throat> but yeah, that's nearly done. Well chuffed. Been doing small work for the lip. I've just got to finish sanding all of this down and primer it. And I'll get back to you when I've uh, got some more to show. Just doing inside here now. If you, and everywhere you look now, you can see seam, seam welds. See? Seam welds. So I am now just going to put some seam seal on it, put a bit of rust treatment on it to protect it, just in case. And now all that's done, properly seam sealed all the way across. All up there is properly done. I've been addressing down there, but if you look, seam seal or seams it, seam weld all the way across. I've started getting the hack of it now. If you watch the weld properly, you can see a pool of lava -y stuff, and all you do is you just follow it. So, I think before I was doing, um, oh, what's it called? Is it pulse welding, pulse trigger welding? Where you just pull the trigger, let go, pull it like that as you go along. But you don't get that kind of weld. And yes, before anyone says that that is going through the other side, I've had to grind it down on the other side. Hence why I've had to redo, why I've got to redo my fiberglass because it went straight through on the other side and burns all my fiberglass off. <laughs> So I'll be back with you when I've uh, done a bit more. There you go. Oh, that's seam sealed and primed now. Waiting for it to dry, and then I will. That's done. I'm happy with that 100%. So that's that job done. Obviously, it's got to be painted black. No rush for that because I want to start working on the floor down there. I'm going to uh, empty the boot out and show you the boot floor because I know a lot of people have been asking what the boot's like. So let's go and have a look at that then, shall we? Now that that's done, I can concentrate on other stuff. Be right back. There's a lot of stuff in here. I've even got the little console. Re uh, covering. I've got the center console. I've got all the duct vents. This is the 
bit I'm going to need soon because I need to measure that up. If I remember correctly from Jamie's video, this door was in pretty good nick. Just here. Let me put all this inside the car and we'll have a proper look. Bumper trims. Box door. Mirror. Ah. Oh. See the door handle. Spray bottle washer. bits and bobs in there. and that is off an older Cortina uh, Mark is that Mark 5? it's in very good nick a few little airline fractures but other than that it's in pretty good nick that is All the door trims. That's, that's why I've got all the kick panels. I think that's part of the boot, isn't it? Because I'm one of those side pieces or something. Shame that's broke. Uh, brackets, fog lights, it's broken. My headlights, these are the Mark V rear lights, a bit of plastic missing, still got the bulb holder, hmm. another one here, again little bits of plastic missing oh, that's a shame someone could have used them oh, some bits that I've put in here that's off the car old radio my clock the console a bit all my little bits and bobs door trims those are my indicators so I need them I've got both of them the other one and they're both in good nick so they'll be going back on my car what else have we got I've got one stalk that's good I just need the other one now that same clock in it the same clock Bits of centre steering column. Got a trim. Another saloon light. Let me finish out emptying out this and then we'll have a look at the floor. It's immaculate in here. Paint on this still. Obviously, you can see through there because the sills, not the sills, the wheel arches have gone. Uh, this is still good. Wow. Just surface rust. This is in mint condition. No, it's not too bad. Look, that's clean. Some rust here. Rust in the corner there. There's nothing there. A little bit there. Holes in the back balance. Is that 
definitely need the balances. I think there's, there's two of them, an inner and an outer. But other than that, wow. It's in really good nick. The fuel spout's rotten. Fuel spout cover. All oh, that's with surface rust. It's not even stuck to the car, it's just dust. Wow. Nothing to worry about in this tub. So there you have it. The back is not bad at all. Can't believe it. Rear chassis rails. Rotten, uh, that's it, under the boot, but the rest of it is good. Definitely got to replace the rear valance to the inner and outer, that's not a problem. This chassis roll here is not a problem, it's only a thin piece of. Yep, that needs a replacing. But everywhere else is good. Yep, yeah, well, it's not a problem at all. I'm not even worried about that. I can make one of them easy. Hmm. I'm doing this because a lot of people have been intrigued. <laughs> yeah. All the bears gone. Floor above it is good. So I'm not worried about that. As long as all up there is good. Not bad at all. I'll stop. Have a look at another look at my stuff. I have both of my carpet trims that go along the side. In good condition, blue. That's wicked. Put these in the boot. That's my brake booster, which I've got to refurb. One good fog light, the other one's smashed. My centre console with my clock. These are all chrome trim. It looks like it goes around the window. Is it was it a replacement or something? Never got used. Hmm. Let me start putting all this away. These are all like door rubbers and stuff, but I'll probably get all new ones of them. Back with you shortly. No, it isn't too bad, is it in the boot? That's drying. So that's one job done. Um, yeah, a lot of people was interested in what the boot floor looked like. And to me, it is really good. Uh, the chassis roll at the back, I'm not worried about that. That's not a big problem. Um, I'm just glad the bulkhead's done. That is, I won't be showing any more of the bulkhead. It's done. The only thing I've got to start doing now is picking out these spot welds so I can get that chassis rail out. Um, so it's going to take me a while to get some stuff together. So, thank you for watching. Um, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. 
I'm just I'm just glad that I've got the indicator lenses, the console, all the trims. I got all the bumper trims. I've pretty much got a lot of the stuff in the boot. See ya. Yep. See you soon. Bye bye.